Welcome to the New St. John Fellowship Telecast, a place where we are becoming an end-time people for the end-time church. Our overseer is Pastor Clarence Stevens. We are located at 1615 North Toby Avenue, P.O. Box 1760, Gonzales, Louisiana 70707. Our telephone number is area code 225-644-2949. Our email is nsjohn at newstjohn.com. Our website is www.newstjohn.com. Sunday morning worship service will be held at 11 o'clock a.m. Wednesday night Bible study will be held at 7 o'clock p.m. If you need help, we're compelled to pray with you and for you. Our major concern is that the Holy Spirit bears witness with your spirit that you are saved. Make sure you let nothing keep you from doing the will of God. We ask God to bless you for watching. John, one of God's greatest states, he had to get in the spirit. But we have a we we have a tendency to put a human aspect on it. Think we're always wrong? No, you're not always wrong. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. But when you want to communicate with God, then you have to change. From one atmosphere to another. Hallelujah. 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 But that's that's what you need to know. You, you need to learn. John knew when he was in the spirit. John knew when he was not in the spirit. So does anybody, a, a learned believer, a learned believer knows when they're in the spirit. And they know when they're in the oh, Hallelujah. Okay. All right. All right. That's your responsibility to learn that. When it's time to communicate with God, you know you got to get in the spirit. And it's a mighty poor believer doesn't know how to get in the spirit. All right. Okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So have faith in God simply means that you trust God for everything. Let it be known to Him. Hallelujah. If I make a mistake, it's not deliberate. Help me, help me, help me. Help me. Help me. Hallelujah. My intention is to do what's right. Hallelujah. Oh Lord. Hallelujah. Oh. Uh, I got somebody else in here that really want to do what's right. Even though you make some mistake, but in your heart, uh, you know uh, you want to please God. Oh, yes, you do. Somebody ought to praise Him right there. Hallelujah. 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 So it's something put all your trust. All your trust in God. Everything. All your trust in God. Did, did I did I get through with that? Yeah. But uh, the first thing God is looking at, I know I'm being repetitive. The first thing he's looking at, can he see your faith? Can you see your faith? And what is he looking at? Looking at your action. That's that's your work. Faith without work is is that what James what what is for and what? Is, uh, uh, faith without work. Your work is what we see. That's what Christ was looking at. Their work that work what they did to get to him that's what he was looking at we, 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 we thought it was a spiritual thing a spiritual high level spiritual thing your faith is high level we have to see something spiritual no no he was looking at your physical action did you catch that uh, that's what I'm looking at. That's what your neighbor's looking at. Your physical action. 
when you say I got a pain and when you say I'm sick I'm gonna look at how you act oh. uh, uh, what are you gonna let it get you down yeah. I look, oh. whether your desire is to keep on going yes, Sometimes you got to wait a little while, but I let him know. Oh, you promised to heal me. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. 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 And I'm committed. I'm committed. He won't let nothing happen to me until that healing is complete. Y'all didn't hear me. Oh, Lord. Hey, did I pick up a few more people here? Did I pick up a few more? Yes, he will. Hallelujah. Every time I pray, I tell him thank you. Because I know it's all already done. You promised me. And when you promise me something, it is always come to pass. I may have to wait a little while, but in my heart, in my heart, I know it's already done. That's why I can boldly give the Lord thanks to anybody here. Anybody here? Do you know it's already done? You ought to raise your hand. Trusting him for it. I'm trusting him for it. Trusting him. Trusting him. Trusting him. Trusting him. Oh, no. Now, I, I need.
need to remind you know, what is your responsibility? What is your responsibility? The condition of your heart. That's your responsibility. The condition of your heart. The condition of your heart. And I showed you that the other night. It will hold up everything. Everything from God. The condition of your heart. It just won't work. Condition of your heart. All right. All right. All right. All right. Condition of your heart. A clean heart. A clean heart. Clean heart. All right. A clean heart. Clean heart. Right. Turn to turn to Romans Romans eight, would you please? Romans eight. Right. I can assure you, I can guarantee you, if you come before God with a clean heart. When you have, when we follow faith, you notice that if your heart is clean and pure, you don't have to ask. You don't have to ask. You don't have to ask. Have to ask. He, he, he gives it to you. He gives it to you. You, you, don't, you, don't, you don't have to ask. Okay. You don't have to ask. He just, that's it over and over. Over again. That's why he warns you as your soul does what? As your soul prosper. Healing, healing and everything depends on as your soul prosper. Did y'all, y'all, right. okay. okay. Now, this, this is what you have to do. But don't you come in here thinking God going to bless you and you have those conditions in your life. It won't happen. 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 But those people that are conscientious and, and want to draw closer to God, you, you, you're going to take care of that problem. You're going to take care of it. All right, all right. And, 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 and you, 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 you're going to have joy and peace. I don't care what the other folks are doing. You, you, you don't care what them folks are doing. They can't stop you. If God be for you, all right, you got Romans 8. Uh, if your heart is clean, now uh, you know how to clean up your heart. Uh, should, do I have to tell you that? You know how to clean up your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, now you, when, when you deny your flesh, what are you doing? Your soul. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's how you improve your relationship with the soul by denying self. Denying self. Denying self. That's the first thing Christ told you to do. To, de to deny what? Deny self. That's the first thing you got to do. Yes, sir. But we we don't hold to that. No, sir. We, we, we let we let people walk in and uh, yes, sir. Come on, yes, sir. they and then we ought to tell them, you know, you are not really saved yet mm. until you deny yourself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And take up your cross and yes, and follow him. Is that what? Yes, what he said. You, you think you think he was playing? No, sir. You think he was serious about that? Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. You got to 
First thing, deny self. Now, if you take a survey in here and, and, and without, without your knowledge, you find not many people have denied themselves. Not many people denied themselves. Not many. I'm talking about when you deny self, I'm talking about anything that is contrary to the word and the, the will of, of God or the, the spirit of God. Okay, did I put that across? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what, uh, all right, okay. Okay, did, did I, did I, that's been all right. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Am I am I reaching two or three? It's getting down to the end of the year. And my brothers and sisters, when you when you get through to God, God gonna tell you something. He will always he's gonna answer. I, in my life, he has never failed. He will always answer. He will all, even if he tells you, I'm gonna do it, just wait on me. Some, sometime he said I'm working things out. Sometime he got to work things. He got to do something over yonder to get your business right over there. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Sometime, sometime he got to get the devil out the way. Sometime God may be sending somebody up for you. But what he has to do, what he has to do, that person will not change just like that. It takes a process. It takes time for people to change and get them where they'll be suitable for you. Oh, y'all didn't. Y'all didn't. Y'all didn't. Y'all didn't. So that takes time. It takes time to change. You can't change nobody. God got to work on them and change them. You don't want nobody coming in your life and making your life worse. You want somebody coming in your life and making your life better. It's better to let God handle it in front. Then for you to regret, I made a mistake. Uh, but if God allows it, everything on us. That takes time. It takes time to train to get another person straightened out. It takes time. Next time, but if you reach him, he'll tell you, I'm working it out. God, and when you reach God, he's gonna tell you something. He's gonna tell you, I heard you, or I'm working it out, give me time, or do something. He's gonna tell you, Hallelujah! Oh, oh, hallelujah. oh hallelujah. hallelujah! But if you don't hear nothing. Wait now. If you don't hear nothing, something is wrong. Yes, sir. Something is wrong. All right, all right. Am, I, am I preaching in vain? Preaching in vain. Oh, I'm preaching in vain. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 All right. All right. You. You. you my objective was to 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 get you a simplified understanding of faith that you just trust God for everything. Just trust every, every, everything, everything, everything. And I can assure you, God will be well pleased. Well pleased. You trust Him everything. Okay. You got Romans eight. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Romans eight. Let, let me let me just let's just read this Romans twenty eight. You got Romans eight, and uh, let's go to verse twenty eight. Verse twenty eight. Everybody got it. And we know that what? How many things? 
we know, not we think, not we believe, but uh, the, the question is how many folks in here really know that? You know that. You know that. And, and, and I've given you an exposition on that before. And I told you, I had to get it straightened out too. But once I got it straightened out and understood it, I don't have now, I clearly understand what God is doing. And, and I love Him for that. Uh, we know that how many things work together for what? We're not, now don't, don't rush over that too fast. All things work together for good, meaning some good going to come out of everything that happened in your life. You may not see it and understand it, but some good going to come out of it. I can, now, now, here's your trust in God. Here's your trust in God. If God delays something, that means he's doing something. As I give you an example, you, you would never give an adult a tricycle. You never give a baby a car. What am I saying? What am I saying? God will deal with you according to your level of understanding. He will give you money according to your ability, ability to handle it. What you plan to do with it. God will bless those that are able to handle that money. Those that will be right with him. Those that will give God. Before I do anything, God, I'm going to give you. Hello. 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 That's how he gives out money. All right. Until you get that straightened out. Uh, uh, am I holding y'all too long? Now, 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 I mean, some of y'all need to check your lives. You're not giving to support the gospel. God looks at that very seriously. Very seriously. Very seriously. You, 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 you know who you heard it? Yourself. Yourself. You yourself. He gives to you according to your several. If you you have to know already in your heart what you're gonna do with it. Coming off the top, God, you get the first. You get it. You get it. Now, if that's not in your heart, you're not gonna get it. You're not gonna get it. Because God knows you're not going to do nothing with it. And he gives to you so you can help others and get this gospel preached. Now, you're not helping this preacher. You're helping yourselves. You are helping yourselves. I've told you over and over again, this God going to take care of this preacher. I don't care what you do. I'm not boasting. God's going to give me my daily bread. I'm not selfish. He'll do the same for you. Do the same for you. That's a promise. That's a promise to all those that obey. He'll give you your... That's a promise. Now, 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 now you can go to him and tell him, you promised me you're going to give me. Meaning every day I'm going to have something to eat. Right. Every day I'm going to have something to eat. Hallelujah. All right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. And some ought to pick up some witness right there. Not a day has passed. Oh, I can look at some of y'all. Not a day has passed. <laughs> not, not, not a day. Not a day. <laughs> some folks not laughing, but that's all right. 
the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth. I don't care whether you laugh or not. It's the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth. I'm getting ready to close. And we know verse, you're still looking at verse 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that what? Okay. One thing you have to do is what? And to them who are what? According to we was talking about that every saved person I want it I want I want I want to get this through to you every saved person if, if you were just in here hanging loose something's wrong with that God has a purpose you see what he, see what he ended up saying here you see what it not your purpose God has made you for a purpose made you for a purpose and it's your responsibility to find out what that purpose is find out what that purpose is oh. hallelujah oh. so hallelujah oh. hallelujah hallelujah So, God, some of you have been in church 10, 15 years, and you still don't know what the purpose is. Don't know. He ended up by saying, according. Not your, not your purpose. What is your purpose? Every saved person. You have a purpose. And you need to know a lot of church people who live their lives and never find out what that purpose, what that purpose is. What that purpose. Okay. This, he says that other places, but I just read this one right here. To, for his, to his purpose. 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 It's perfect. It's perfect. All right. It's perfect. All right. All right. Did everybody, everybody, everybody got that? Everybody, okay. right. Some things you have to do. Some things you have to do. Nobody else can do it for you. You, you need to find out what your purpose is. Don't, don't you think so? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord.